waiting on the platform for his trousers. They were in a trunk amongst a big load of baggage. The reporters were taking the baggage trolley across the line. They were walking backwards to see that nothing fell off. Percy was still being cheeky. His driver always shut off steam just outside the station. Percy wanted to surprise the coaches, but the porters didn't hear him either. Percy gave them such a fright that boxes and bags burst everywhere. Oh, groaned Percy. Streams of jam trickled down Percy's face. A top hat hung on his lamp iron. Worst of all, a pair of trousers coiled lovingly around his funnel. Everyone was very angry. Sir Topham Hatt seized the top hat. Mine, he said. Percy, look at this. Yes, sir. I am, sir. My best trousers, too. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We must pay the passengers for their spoiled clothes, and my trousers are ruined. I hope this will teach you not to play tricks with the coaches. Percy went off to the yard. He felt very silly. On the way, he met James. Hello, Percy. So you found a scarf, eh? But legs go in trousers, not funnels. And he puffed away to tell Henry the news. That evening, Thomas and Percy... Like, so all the parts are messed up, we'll just put that, like, in the little purse. Okay. Like, let's go. Oh. Pretty good so far. No. no, 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 no. I have to, like, up I, here. Uh... <laughs> oh, crap. No. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs>